Thank you for joining me as we look into the details of the GT220 boiler. Here at Nature's Comfort, we are dedicated to quality, reliability, efficiency, and longevity. We've taken a look at the norms and traditions of this industry and realized there's a lot of room for improvement. Through outside-the-box thinking and innovation, as well as cutting-edge technology, Nature's Comfort proudly brings you a new industry standard in gasification boilers. In this video, we'll show you how we've combined proven, reliable methods with advanced technology through innovation. Join me as we open up the boiler and take a look inside. As we come around to the back, we see a simple and effective layout. Our pumps are mounted on the bottom for improved efficiency and reliability. A large blower is necessary for proper gasification. Our simplicity yields redundancy. A simple quarter turn valve with a garden hose fitting makes for easy maintenance. It comes with one pump pre-installed with valve and has space for more. The insulated rear access panel is designed to simplify maintenance and provide an easy access to the catalytic converter system. Return water feeds into either of the upper ports. Water inlet temperatures are easily read using the pull-out style thermometer. The reflective face insulation provides superior thermal protection. The two-speed blower provides either 350 CFM or 550 CFM. The air inlet damper is operated using an electric actuator. The control panel has a master switch as well as two sets of receptacles. The upper receptacle box is powered indirectly through the lower receptacle box. This allows us to have a plug tail which can be used for powering the unit from a backup source such as a generator, which we will demonstrate here. As you can see, you simply plug in the unit and switch the plugs to the upper receptacle. Operating the digital aquastat is very simple. Just set it to Fahrenheit. We are going to set it to 190 degrees. We want to set the variance to 5 degrees. Make sure it's set to heat and you're done. Rather than a traditional solenoid, we use a high torque 110 inch pound force linear actuator. This is necessary because our damper is positioned inside the firebox. This is done to prevent creosote from damaging the blower. Let's look inside. You can see the damper door opening forward. Positioning the damper inside the firebox also allows us to supply fresh air to the secondary burn chamber, in the process preheating that air to several hundred degrees. Let's remove the rear access panel. Here we find the catalytic converter as well as an ash deposit area. This should be inspected and cleaned periodically. Pulling out the drawer reveals six catalyst discs. During the regular maintenance, these should be inspected to ensure all openings are clear. It is important to ensure low moisture wood is used, otherwise poor gasification will result causing the catalytic system to become clogged with tarry creosote. The discs should also be inspected for any physical damage before reinstalling. It is necessary to keep the rear panel tightly secure to prevent any leakage of the high temperature gases.
Now let's take a look inside the firebox. We immediately notice four things. First, the deep rectangular shape of the firebox. Secondly, the unique air inlet damper and boost pipe. Thirdly, the cast iron floor, which protects the fire brick from damage. And lastly, the two exhaust vents in the floor. This is where the gases from the wood are forced through into the second burn chamber, where they will be burned in an efficient and advanced yet simple manner. In the lower part of the DSBC, the fire brick are actually cemented to the steel, thus increasing the heat exchange and efficiency. By continuing the spinning motion of the gases inside this chamber, the molecules are given more time and more surface contact, which in turn again increases efficiency further. From here you can see the rear access panel as well as the catalytic converter tray. Here we will prepare the unit for operation. Close the DSBC access door, close the main fuel door, close the damper, and turn on the main switch. Let's see how the smoke bypass works. A simple cast iron door pivots upwards, allowing the smoke to exit directly out of the upper rear of the firebox. After filling the firebox, we close the damper door by pulling the rod forward, then turn on the blower switch. It's that simple. Lastly, let's take a look at the stainless steel water level float gauge. Here's a GT500 running at full load. The Aquastat is at 180 degrees water temp. The blower is running. The actuator has pushed the damper open. We've got two heat exchangers putting a massive amount of load on this boiler. And you can't see any smoke. Nothing but heat shimmer. And you can ask Not yourself, even a plume. Yes, yeah, we ask ourselves, is it burning? <laughs> is the water temperature just at 180 and there's nothing in the firebox? Observe. Firebox full of wood. Tons of smoke. and burning clean and clear. GT500 in full gasification.